guys, Sunday for dinner. I just made a kibasi and noodles in a skillet. I added some spinach. I also added one can of the Del Monte pitted cut diced tomatoes with zesty jalapenos. I also added some Parmesan cheese and then I made it into more of a like, I added butter and seasoning to make it more of a creamier garlicky sauce. And then we just served it with um, some Texas Roadhouse bread. Monday for dinner, I made us some foil packs for dinner. Uh, it is chicken breasts in a ranch sauce with crackle barrel cheese melted on top with broccoli. And then we also have on the bottom of the chicken breast some stovetop stuffing, which is my favorite. And basically you just take all these ingredients and you put it in the foil and you wrap it up and you bake it in the oven. This was Pinterest inspired. And then we just served it, well I just made some um, cut up potatoes, seasoned really well and baked them in the oven as well. Tuesday for dinner I made cheesy party burgers. They're like sliders. I used ground beef. I also, um, there's a recipe on Pinterest for this but my brother's wife pretty much introduced me to this they said it was delicious and they are right um, you would use like one can of the Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies let me tell you this Rotel with green chilies and diced tomatoes oh my god if you use this in any type of meal it just makes your meal so delicious it's some good stuff I also have here some cheddar cheese and then you put it on dinner rolls and then there's a glaze that you put on top and you just have like, it's like a buttery brown sugar glaze to give it a sweetness. It tastes really, really good. And then we just served it with some uh, french fries that were frozen and you just pop them in the oven. And that's what we have for dinner on Tuesday. Wednesday for dinner, I made us some buffalo chicken sandwiches with provolone cheese, bacon, lettuce, tomato on a onion roll. And then I also made a pasta salad that had broccoli, pepperoni, cheddar cheese, feta cheese, green and red peppers. And I just used basic Italian dressing for all my pasta salads. So that is what we have for dinner on Wednesday. Thursday for dinner, I made meatloaf with ground beef. I also made some homemade mashed potatoes. Let's talk about the mashed potatoes because guys, all I used was sour cream, butter, salt and pepper and that is it they were so good you guys oh my god for now on that's how I'm making my mashed potatoes and the only reason why I made it that way was because I think I didn't have any milk so I was like well I have sour cream so I use that instead then we have some gravy on top and then I just served it with some peas they are canned but they were really really good more of a comfort food for that night um Everything was really, really good. So that is what we have for dinner on Thursday. Friday for dinner, I made chicken parmesan. I just made my chicken just like the way I make chicken cutlets, breaded, um, fried, and then I don't put the sauce on right away. I bake it in the oven just with the cheese and then I take the sauce and I put it on top. That way the chicken doesn't get soggy and we just served it with some garlic bread. Saturday for dinner, I made us some grilled cheese and tomato soup. Nothing special, but I did switch up a few things. Like uh, when I melted the butter in the pan, I added salt, garlic, and pepper to give the grilled cheese more of a flavor. And I did use two different cheeses. I used provolone and cheddar cheese. And with the tomato soup, I tried out, I wanted to test out the Dollar Tree box milk. And I really couldn't tell the difference. It gave it just as much flavor. It tasted really good. It didn't taste bad. I did use a little bit too much milk, but that's okay because we like our tomato soup nice and creamy like that because we dip our grilled cheese in there. So that is what we have for dinner on Saturday. <music> 